welcome back for another video. The Roundup is a series on this channel that arms you with useful information to take into each game week to arrive at better decisions. This includes the top players for predicted points, the bookies odds, transfer trends and more. An accumulation of smaller but correct decisions can have a significant impact over the course of the season. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball, which is a free app on both iOS and Android. A link to the app is at the top of the description. From an FPL perspective, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Not just because it supports the channel, but it's a genuinely good app for its features, such as the lineups, live scores, goal scorers, assisters, news and more. When you open the app, it'll ask you which team is your favourite, or if you don't have one, you can simply skip the step. You can also favourite competitions such as the Premier League. Thank you again to OneFootball. To download the app, simply hit the link at the top of the description. Enjoy the video. We'll start with the goalscorer odds, and the odds given are always based on the assumption that the player starts, and this is sometimes not the case. Lukaku tops the goalscorer odds by some margin, despite failing to score in his last five Premier League games. He does of course face Norwich, who are second from bottom on XG conceded, on 14.7 XGC. Over the opening 8 game weeks, Norwich have given up a big chance at a rate of every 36 minutes, which is also second worst after Newcastle. Considering his poor form, it's a fixture pick rather than a form pick. As mentioned, the bookies odds presume a player starts, and both Lukaku and Werner were subbed early in the Champions League with an injury, so we'll see what the outcome is in the presses. Aubameyang is in second, who isn't a player mentioned much, and only 2.5% owned. He scored three times in his last five games and he faces Aston Villa, who have conceded five times in their last two. Salah, Ronaldo and Werner are all even on 37% chance of scoring. Salah's in astonishing form and fixture proof. And once again he impressed in the Champions League with a goal and an assist as Liverpool beat Atletico Madrid away. Onto the clean sheet odds and unsurprisingly Chelsea are top for the Norwich game by a huge margin with a 62.5% chance of a clean sheet. Those with a Chelsea double up will be looking forward to this one as it's among the highest clean sheet odds we'll see this season. Man City are second and play away against Brighton in what could be a tough game. Cancelo, Diaz and Walker all played the full 90 midweek in the Champions League, however you'd imagine it's not a fixture Pep takes for granted and they could all easily feature again. Livramento owners will be pleased to see Southampton up there on the clean sheet odds, this week up against Burnley and playing at home again. The bookies have given Tottenham just a 25% chance of a clean sheet, which is testament to their poor defensive form this season, and those still holding Antonio will be hoping for something from him this game. Ranieri has a tough game on his hands again with a 17% chance against Everton, and they'll be desperate to put in a better performance for fans after gaming 8's result. Norwich are rock bottom with just an 8.5% chance of a clean sheet playing away at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. Onto the predicted points and it's Lukaku out in front with 6.6 .6 predicted points. Salah faces Man United which could be a tough game despite Man United's poor form. However he's in the best form of his career and he's scored against the likes of Man City and Chelsea already too. Kane just about squeezes into the top 10 on 4.9 predicted points. He finally got his first league goal of the season in game a and it would be a real template buster if he starts to find some form now, especially after Tottenham's fantastic run of games from game week 12 onwards. On to the most transferred players. The most transferred in player is Jamie Vardy, with over 300,000 picking him up. He's only failed to score in two games all season, back in game week 2 and game week 4, and he has 7 goals and an assist overall. Chilwell scored for the second consecutive game, and in game week 8 he kept a clean sheet too for a 15 point haul. Casella continues to appear on the most transferred players and is still the top scoring defender in the game. Over 100,000 managers have picked up Lukaku despite his poor form, but as we've seen from the predicted points and the bookies odds, it's still a sensible move. The most transferred out player should give us an indication of who made way. Over 400,000 managers have sold Ronaldo, who is also in a poor patch of form himself in the league, failing to score in his last three. We saw the likes of Chilwell and Cancelo in the most transferred in, so it looks as though Alonso, Rudiger and Shaw are the makeway players. Jota was benched for the Watford game and didn't even come on as a sub, and likewise he was benched against Atletico Madrid. Firmino got a hat-trick in game week 8, so Klopp may feel obliged to bench him once again in an important derby against Man United. We'll finish the roundup as always with the captaincy poll results. Thanks to everyone who voted on the poll on our Discord. If you'd like to join, the link is in the description. The results are in and they are as follows. It's our most divided game week of the season, as 47.9% have voted for Lukaku, 
while 40.9% have voted for Salah. With such an even split, there's such a high upside in getting a decision right. However, if Lukaku misses game week 9, then we'll likely see many of those votes switch to Salah instead. Very few votes for the alternatives such as De Bruyne and Son, who come in third place and 1.9%, and Vardy, who has 5 goals in his last 4 games, gets just 1.4% of the vote. Thank you for watching this game week's episode of the Roundup. If you found it useful, please hit like to support the channel and hit subscribe if you're new. I read every comment, so as always, I'm keen to hear your thoughts. 